Kermarnock has had a station of sorts since 1812, when the Kermarnock and Troon line opened. However, the present station dates from 1846. It was built by the Glasgow Paisley Kermarnock and Air Railway, which became the Glasgow and South Western. It had 600,000 passenger journeys a year, on average, and had, uh, in the past, links to Dal Rye and to Darvel. Today, it still has trains running to Glasgow, Dumfries, and on to Carlisle, also to Girvan and Eyre. It has an impressive railway viaduct that dominates the upper part of the town. Kilmore Station was opened in 1873 on the line running down to Carlisle via Dumfries and Kilmarnock. However, it was closed in 1966 when the line was singled. 1984 it was reopened and carries about 115,000 patterns a year. However, the track beyond going to north was doubled in 2009, but having been built on the track bed, it now forms a bottleneck on a single line to Kilmarnock. Kilwinning Station was built as a junction on the electrified lines, one of which runs down to Ardrossan Harbour via Ardrossan South Beach, and then runs on from South Beach to Largs. The other runs up to Paisley and to Glasgow, and finally, in the southern direction, runs down to Ayr and Stranra. It was opened in 1840, carries about a million passenger journeys a year, and there's a British Transport Police Station based here. Mabel stands on the air to Stranra line. It was opened in 1860 and operated by the Glasgow and South Western. In 1880, the track was doubled. However, then 1973 was singled again. It carries about 90,000 passengers a year. New Cumnock was opened in 1850 and stands on the Glasgow to Carlisle line via Dumfries. It was closed in 1965 but reopened in 1991 and now carries about 25,000 passengers a year. A two-platform station with a regular service, Newton Air lies close to air itself. It was opened in 1864. It sees about 90,000 passengers a year and lies close to the old Falkland Yard and to the line to the harbour. Prestwick International Airport Station is the only independently run station in Scotland. It was opened in 1994. It carries passengers on the line from Glasgow down through Prestwick to air. It carries about 100,000 passengers a year. Prestwick, our Prestwick town, stands on the electrified double track line down from Glasgow to Eyre. It was opened in 1839. It's one of the original Glasgow, Paisley, Kermarnock and Eyre railway stations. It carries around 400,000 passengers a year. Saltcoats, for a time known as Saltcoats Central, was opened in 1840, but its location was changed slightly, moving it towards the north in 1882. It lies on the line between Kilwinning, Ardrossan and Largs. It carries about 320,000 passengers a year. It still has uh, substantial buildings, some of which have become a cafe, originally the ticket office and station master's house. Stevenson was opened in 1840 by the Ardrossan Railway. It lies on the line between Kewinning, Ardrossan and Largs. It's double track and electrified with two platforms. It carries about 110,000 passengers a year, and there's a level crossing here. The original Stuarton station was opened in 1843 on the line between Kermarnock and Dal Rye. It wasn't until 1871 that the Glasgow, Barhead and Kermarnock Railway opened a station at Stuarton. Up until that time, people had to go down to what's now Cunningham Head, by, by coach and horses. The old station was renamed Cunningham Head in 1873. The present Stuart and station was closed in 1966, but opened only a year later in 1967. The station lies on the Glasgow and Southwestern route, running from Glasgow via Kermarnock and Fries to Carlisle. The line had been singled in 1966, but in 2008, a large section was doubled. This resulted in an extra platform being built at Stuarton. At present, the station carries around 330,000 passengers a year. Truant Station 
was opened in 1892 by the Glasgow and South Western on the Loop Line, the other station being closed at that time. The line runs from Glasgow to Ayr, electrified and double track. In 2004, it underwent substantial enhancements because the Open was held at the Royal Troon Golf Club. However, in 2021, there was a disastrous fire on Platform 1 which destroyed all the buildings that had been enhanced. It carries about 620,000 passengers a year. West Cabride stands on the Ardrossan to Largs line. This was an extension that was built by the Glasgow and South Western Railway and opened in 1878. However, the present station dates from 1900. For many years, there were camping coaches here. In 1985, electrification took place and one platform was removed and effectively the line was singled inasmuch as that there is a second track there, but that was designed for the Hunterston trains was only signal for trains running south and was not electrified. It sees about 170,000 passenger journeys a year. The next train along the station along the line is Fairley and finally the terminus at Largs, that section being single track. <laughs>